You've come a long way from being a stoat. You done gawking? We can start. Good. This is Botopia, a once great technological paradise. It's ruled over by four uh, uber bots. That's right. And you've got to get out there and beat them. Why? To perform the great transcendence, of course. It doesn't matter what that means. You want it, okay? Botopia used to be safe for travelers. Now, rogue bots block all the major roads. You're not used to seeing five lanes, are you? Leshy could never pull that off. can put out an energy bot. Do you want to do that? Should probably put out an empty vessel. Put out a shield bot. Would that stop the thing? First time a card bearing the sigil would take damage, prevent that damage. So that seems pretty good. Can put out the sniper bot and an energy bot. Now we can put out the sniper bot. Can we sacrifice an empty vessel? We can't, okay. We win. Two dollars. I want my two dollars. The best defense? Other bots. I carry, uh, you carry a spark that can uh, reactivate old bots. Add them into your deck, you know. Then they fight for you. Um, we've already got a shield bot. What does a gift bot do? A card bearing the sigil Paris is a random card is created in your hand. Uh, a me bot. When a card bearing the sigil is drawn, the sigil is placed with another sigil at random. Uh, I guess let's take the me bot. You'll need more than a few reactivated bots. That is, if you truly wish to enact the great transcendence. Botopia has some of the most OP items just lying around. That will recharge your energy one turn. Pretty good. If you're smart, you'll use your items liberally. You'll replenish them at a waypoint, obviously.
When a card bearing the sigil dies, the creature opposing it, as well as adjacent friendly creatures, are dealt 10 damage. What do the empty vessels do? Are they just there for, um... Are they just there for defense? All your money's gone. Great work. You want it back? And get back to the spot without dying again. Just get back to where you are, right? Not so easy. All the rogue bots in that area just respond. You're not used to saying five lanes, are you? Yeah, we already got that one. Um... I guess let's put the empty vessel out. You're a burrower. Be nice if you like conceded once you ran out of things. Grab our bag. Nebot gets spikes this time. We should play it. Oh, we don't have the energy. So the empty vessel is just like a, a defense for a turn. energy do we have? Four energy, okay. So we can get out the energy bot. Card bearing the sigils plays, it provides an energy cell to its owner. And get out the shield bot instead. Shield bot versus shield bot.
Now we can get out the energy bot. Now we can get out the double gunner. Let's get the 49er. We already know that we like the 49er. The real best way to fight back those rogue bots? Modify yours. Give them OP abilities. Choose a card from your deck. Um... I want to do double gunner, but he's so expensive. Is it just sniper bot? We're always going to play sniper bot whenever we get him out. Let's see. When a card bearing the sigil jamus is another creature, that creature perishes. Unkillable. Unkillable 49er? <laughs> Almost at the waypoint. Don't choke now. Creature opposing card bearing the sigil gains one power. What is this thing? Money. It's all about the money, money, money. You made it to the first waypoint. Cool. Your items are recharged. Bots that you've destroyed in the area will stay that way. If and when you do perish, you'll be brought back here. It's an elegant system. Glorious commerce. Your Robobucks are accepted here. Don't have enough to buy anything. Eastern Botopia. Not much of value out this way. But you still gotta explore here. You know, for the great transcendence. Bot gets sniper. When a creature moves into the space posing the card bearing the sigil, they are dealt one damage. Okay. Can 
put out a me bot and put out sniper bot. Put out shield bot. Sector drone or leap bot? Let's take in sector drone first. More money. Can go back to that shop, see what's around. Let me guess what you're thinking. Go back to the waypoint, refresh your items, maybe go to the shop. I actually want you to win, but it can't be that easy. You can go back to the waypoint, but all the rogue bots you've cleared in this area will respawn. So, are you sure? I guess not. After card bearing the sigil is dealt damage, swap its power and health. Well, that doesn't seem very fair. Um, I definitely want the 49er on this side. Get the sniper bot out, shoot the explode bot, or the swap bot. I think we should shoot the explode bot. Can get the shield bot. Yeah, I think we put out the shield bot and the sniper bot. the me bot which is unkillable and the 49er that felt pretty good uh, we can put out the insecta drone and the 49er again. I was worried about the 49er, uh, but I think it was a good choice. $13. Are you wondering about the star? You've been winning a lot. Now you've got a bounty on your head. It's sure to attract bounty hunters. It resets when you die, though. Uh, I think we take the swap bot. Reset the area. 
Okay, that does that now. What is this? Let's, let's go this way. Amiibot is a burrower now. Put out the Amiibot. Casey again. Casey Blast. And I'll be taking that scalp of yours. Nothing personal, kid. Put out the Insector Drone first. It's a touch of death. Probably should have put out the energy bot. Too late. Put out sniper bot. I'll be taking that scalp another day. You ain't seen the last of Casey Blast. Doesn't matter, we win. And we got some money. Another waypoint. Items 100% charged. Bot spawners 100% offline. Lame. Power is dead on this old thing. I'll let you get up if you go get a new battery. You're allowed in the inspection room only. Just give me the battery from the inspectometer and come back. Uh, one of these again. Mrs. Bombs remote. Sure, take it. Drops bombs on every empty space. Tactical board wipe. Don't be stupid about it. I'm so confused. Mighty Leap, a card bearing the sigil, block an opposing creature bearing an airborne sigil. Okay, this is the book again. Oh, I love those things turned off. That's fine, just solve some easy puzzles. Rotate the sigil until it is upright.
Select all squares that contain cards. Select all squares that contain cards. Yep, that's it. Bring it over. Found me. Good. Robot fish hide me. Revenge for last time. Bad fish. Yep. Thanks. That should do it. Back to the game. Can't do anything with that, it doesn't look like. Uh, there's Magnificus's buddy. Can I do anything with you? Is it? Who are you? Is this stimulation? Something other than darkness? Many thanks. Do with me what you will. Anything but that. Infinite darkness. Wait, let's go back to the shop. We've got 15. Pick one of your cards. Choose me, fish. Stimulate me. Uh, let's do the sniper bot this time. Let me calibrate. Uh, what is that? Imposing creatures placed offset. Armored. Stinky. I think let's do armored on you. Good. Alright. Revolting. Yeah, sorry that you have to see this. It's the last area in Batopia that still has life in it. That stinking, squirming mass of imperfection. Oh no, you came at uh, just the wrong time. The generator is about to explode or something. You have to recharge it before that happens. It's a race against the clock, you'll see. What is this? My face says zero. You lose. So you do two damage per turn. Yes, yes. You do one damage per turn. 
can get you out. I am Bates. Hello, friend. You're running out of time. Let's get the Amoebot out. I think we win next turn. Alright, we win. Come on! Fuck! Wow. Great. You recharged it before it exploded. If I could clap for you, I would. Choose a card. Um, we could get Lonely Wiz bot up. We could get a me bot up. Get insecta drone up. Let's get lonely was bought up. What do we have? An imposing creatures placed opposite. Bifurcated strike. Stinky. I think that um, bifurcated strike is probably better. Since he does two damage, but I really like Stinky here. Not what I would have picked. Money. Quill. Gift spot or bolt hounds. I think quill is slightly better. And go into beast mode. God, remember beast mode. And me bot got what? Defense, yeah. Air defense. Stimulation. Can put a me bot out, but it's just going to die. Can put both Lonely Wizbot and a me bot out. Lonely Wizbot is kind of sucks in this game or in this match. me about out on the side here. Lishy fish is near. Must find. Other scribe fish too. Deep beneath. Got two. Oh, yes. Fish. 
Fishbot kills the hound. Insector drone kills Sonya, right? Let's get Fishbot out. Only play one. Bad. That didn't work out how I wanted to. Um, energy bot doesn't do anything. Put insector drone there. Put you there. Bad fish. We just run out the clock. Eleven bucks. Another star on your head, the bounty is higher. Bounty hunters of a higher caliber may come calling. Well, let me go back to that store. Nope. This here gold. I were just about to mine it. Guess all I needed were a kick in the pants. One of your cards is about to gain an alter ego. As a beast. And you get to choose which card and which beast. It's not that complicated. Um, energy bot isn't really doing anything for us. Let's do energy bot. Okay. Which beast will you will live within your bot? What is that? Transform into a bird, a snake. Add the adder. 
We'll make it into the adder. Really? All right. I already went this way. So we just unlocked the path. Grizz. Transformers more than meets the eye. I definitely want to play Shield Bot. Play the Forty Niner. Guardian. I think it's worth it to get the sniper bot out. And we can put the insect drone. I'm feeling stimulated. A friend. Some money. The guy who used to live here was totally sloppy. I, d I don't mean he didn't keep a clean cabin. It was his plays. He'd make misplays left and right. Cared more about lore and flavor. You get it, right? Perfect strategy is all that matters in a card game. There we go. Secret. Twenty one dollars. Can get an explode bot. Explode bot is probably good. Can get a Sonya. I'm not the traitor or anything. But there's gonna be a little give and take here. You'll have to trade one of your, uh, your cards for one of these. Can I just trade the Sonya for the Sonya? Okay, what will you give me?
Pick one. Here we go. Transform into a wolf. I don't know how useful that is. Out of the deck, into the hand. Meepot kills you. Only Wizbot can put there. That opens us up a little bit. Oh, honey, don't cry. I'm Claim Granvik. I'll make it swift. It's all right, darling. Remember the name, Clean Granvik. I'll be back. Not dead. Can get out the Sonia and the sniper bot. I think that's worth it. The good fish. Oh. Money. Your items are replenished, and those bots back there are permanently offline.
Oh, we're one short of whatever this is. Alright, I don't think we need anything. Eh, let's take one of these. Choose one. Um, fish pot. Brewer. Spikes. I think the spikes are pretty good since he's got three health. Eerie, this uberbot just sits here in perfect darkness. Is it just waiting for challengers? Maybe it's letting its photos develop. The next boss is pretty cool. You'll actually need to think about your plays. Whole new mechanic. Okay, where were those files? Unpacking photographer.zip. The lens is my instrument. You, as well, are my instrument. You will aim, and I will capture. This is my friend. You will aim them. You will produce a photograph. Or you may decide not to. That is your choice. Sentry, touch of death. You might benefit from producing a photograph. Can we get out? Can get out Insectodrome or Sonya and 49er. I think it's worth it to get out 49er. I guess not. My friends, you may use them to your own end. My friend will remember that photograph. My friend will allow you to use that photograph. To what end, you will see. To use when, you will see.
Is this okay? I think this is okay. We win. You have dealt me a blow. You have... You have dealt me a blow. Recalibrating personality matrix. Good boss. Remind me of Leshy Fish. Good boss. Remember your side deck? That useless thing with all the empty vessels? It's about to get less useless. Your pick will be installed on every empty vessel card. Armored is pretty good. Spikes is pretty good. I think we do the spikes. Interesting. I'm not sure what uh, that was right, but they all have sharp quills now. Well, hello there, card gamers. Um, looks like my garage sale hunting days have finally paid off. Yeah. Yeah, baby. What you guys see this? You know what that is? You know what that is? Vintage packs of inscription. Four of them. I don't know if the woman knew what these are worth. I mean, I felt a little bad buying them off of her. But I mean, she's probably doing okay living in this part of town. I mean, it's like... It's a nice part of town, you know? And uh, she would have thrown them away if I hadn't come by. Right? Right. Okay. Big pack opening video incoming! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Mrs. Hobbs? Hi, my name is Luke. Well, it's very nice to speak with you as well, Mrs. Hobbs. Um, listen, I was at your garage sale the other day, and I... No! No, everything's fine. Thank you. Um, I was just wondering if you remember those playing cards that you sold me? Those... Yes! Yes, those ones. Inscription, yes. They were your daughters? 
Would it be possible for me to speak with her? She passed, isn't she? Oh. Oh, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, it was a while ago. That's still terrible. Oh, it, it's nothing really. I'm, I'm sorry to have bothered you, ma'am. Her name was Casey. Casey. That's a lovely name. Sorry, what? She worked for Game she Funa. For inscription. I mean, inscription. She for Game Funa. Ma'am, would it be possible? I see. Okay, yeah. Um, do you think it'd be all right if I called you back later? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of something. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. All right, have a good dinner. Bye. Casey was one of the um, the player cards that Leshy got in the first act. Uh, and then in the second act, she was the one who uh, was killed by falling ice. Articles mention death or injury. Oh my god. No one was killed at the facility, though tragically young video game developer Casey Hobbs died from fire related complications. Fuck. She was working late at the facility, performing quality assurance on behalf of her employer, Game Fuma. Casey died while working on the inscription game. Psychologist, perhaps? Blood letterbox? <laughs> I, uh, I think our buddy has been, uh, He's seen better days. There we go. All right. Uh, we did this. Okay. Oh, this stink scrapyard is pretty unpleasant. Its inhabitants grasping claws seek fresh bots. Watch your ankles. Can't go that way. So much to see. Uh, when a card bearing the sigil perishes, its owner chooses a creature to gain the nano armor sigil. All right. Can you just block airborne? You only have one life. You have spikes, that's right. We put spikes on you.
49er. 49er is good. Let's put 49er there. And put shield bot down. Can put fish bot down. Let's put fish bot down. Good fish. Bad fish. Uh, we can put Sonia down. Put 49er down again. Bad fish. More fish. All right, so what do we want to do now? We can put out 49er and shield bot. There's nothing coming right now. Can put out Quill. That does more damage. Can put out Sonya and Shield Bot. I'm okay with that. We win. Uh, exoskeleton. After attacking the guard bearing, the sigil perishes. It's cheap. Guard bearing, the sigil perishes as owner shoes a creature to gain the detonator sigil. Let's get, in, let's get a skelly boy. Ah, ha, ha, play me. be a bad idea. Yes. What are you? Don't have sniper. Sniper would be pretty good. Do the shield bot. I think the sniper is probably going to be our best play. Alright, 
We can play energy bot or shield bot or insect drone. Say we do that. And then I think we just win. Yeah. You wish to pass this ice. It's Casey. Well, I suppose I could clear it. A little bit of heat should do the trick. <laughs> What is this? Ready to trade? Um, I don't like those. Let's just trade out our shield bots. Money. You know what to do. Um, let's see the exoskeleton. What do we have? Uh, Burrower, Guardian. Bifurcated strike or battery bearer. I think bifurcated strike for the exoskeleton. It's not a shortcut, is it? What is that for? Hmm. I guess let's get the shield latcher. Play me, play me. Bomb latcher, automaton. Automaton only has one health. I think that was right. Now we play the Wizbot. Yes, attack! Now we can play Sonya. This is a cool one. I'll overclock one of your cards, give it an attack buff. But if it dies, it's gone forever. Energy bot? Could do shield bot or shield latcher. Try the shield latcher. 
Overclocked. Card bearing the sigil has increased power, but if a card bearing the sigil perishes, it is permanently removed from your deck. Done. Don't let it die. Stimulation. Bomb latcher or automaton. Spot or for an Thought you'd seen the last little oh, oh, Casey blast, did you? Think again. Play the Wizbot and the 49er. I think that's the right play. Could also do Sniper Bot. Aha! Yes! What? What? Why did... I don't... I don't see why that gave me so much damage. Um... Touch of death. Three energy. I fish now. Mm. 
Jimmy Butt moves. Energy bot. I think it's better to play a me bot. What do we have? 49er or insect drone? Let's do the 49er. I thought the um, the robot wanted me to win. Why is he mad when I win? Empty vessel. Energy bot, put down exoskeleton or gunner. Probably the forty nine er. Play fish bot. Play forty nine er again. Bad fish.
GG. New area. Any items are back online. Bot spawner is offline. What a depressing abode. To think your ambition was to replace Grimora and inherit this. New experience. Um, who do we not mind losing? I don't want to keep all of my cards. Can put up double gunner. Not me. Yeah, let's do double gunner. Just take a basic sentry drone. I wish I'd gotten the sentry drone before we overclocked it. I'm going to keep my shield bot. Shield Latcher versus Jumpy Boy. Sniper, if we do that, is that worth it? Sniper dies next turn if we do that. Could do Sonya. We're in sector drone. Shield Latcher kills. Sentry Drone kills. You kill. Your Quill. Got a bounty. So much to see. Uh, sentry drone versus exoskeleton.
Take two damage. Play the Lonely Wizbot. Zip Van Grind reporting for duty. My mission, eliminate target, collect bounty. After that, maybe start a small business. Bed and breakfast, something nice. Settle down, find a partner, manufacture some children. Grow old, pass the business on to my children. Rust away, content with my life's work. Surrounded by family. But first, eliminate target. Can play the energy bot. And the exoskeleton, I think that's good. Company. Oh, we just won. And we're rich. We need a key. You have brought a fine quill. Please sign here that you agree to give access. Thank you. Do not forget your agreement. Don't know what we just agreed to. Items 100% charged. Bot spawner is 100% offline. There it is, the Uberbot you sought. These idiotic librarians worship it as it sits here covered in filth and grime. Ready to clean it up? Oh look, it's boss time. Unpacking archivist.zip. Applying personality matrices. Cleaning up some temp files. Okay, here we go. Ah, greetings. If you had not gleaned it from the title of my zip file, I am the archivist. I eagerly await the opportunity to explore your hard drive. Files and directories are my specialty, you see. Uh, empty vessel. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, select a file, place damage on the scales according to the file size. We have a Mebot Stinky. Can play Shield Latcher or Mebot next turn. Might be time to sacrifice Shield uh, Latcher. I should have inquired sooner. You will need to grant me access to your hard drive. Would you please acquiesce? I assure you, no harm will come of it. Here comes your actual files. I hope no one is watching. Now, do you recommend an exemplary file to me? And do take into account its size, its magnitude, its, its bulk. Uh, 44 gigabytes. My word, that file it is. I may say it is colossal. Bravo. Play the insect drone. 
Find the sentry drone? Do we want to do that? think so. Again, do choose a file. Its file size will be paramount. Magnificent, it is gargantuan. Those are my uh, recordings, if you're wondering what's happening. This one, however, is very special. Choose a file that is dearest to your heart. And one that shows age. Now, let us place that file on a card. You didn't choose a file that was chewed, dear, did you? For if this card dies, I will delete the file from your disc. Please do not tempt me, I'm completely serious. Shall we see what that looks like? Hmm, I suppose this file does show some age. Two out of two. Can play a sniper bot. I think we play the sniper bot. Put out the page file, sis? I think so. Cost two energy and you don't have enough. Uh, we can put out energy bot. We can put out insect drone. We could put out pagefile.sys, which I think we should do. This is a shield. Let's put that on there. Well, you won't be seeing that one again. Damn it. No, no, that's good. We need to thin our deck out anyway. So many files, so much stimulation. Uh, what do I want to put out? I'll put you out. And we win. And then some. I thought you, I thought I had you. Oh well. You've made a few correct tech building decisions, I guess. And you're lucky. We win. Take that. Provides an energy sale to its owner. Card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. First time a card bearing the sigil would take damage, prevent that damage. I think we get this one. And then next time we can get the, the shield, the nano shield. We should probably spend some of our money, shouldn't we? Uh, what is this? Gives nano armor to your bots on the board. Decent. Oh, it's an item. Okay. Makes them a beast. Overcharges them. Don't want to overcharge them. I think we're good.
Explode bot or gift bot? Let's take an explode bot. No, let's let's take a gift bot. A card bearing the sigil perishes. A random card is added to your hand. card um can get sentry bot up can get a me bot up let's see what we've got what do we have Battery bearer. When a card bearing the sigil is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. So it's free to play, and it does... Yeah, I think free to play is pretty good. Right. That one's more expensive. It's fixed. You can go on your merry way. We play the empty vessel first. That dies. All right, we can play shield bot next. We can play lonely whiz bot. Play the exoskeleton and the sentry drown. And we win. You'll destroy one of your cards now. Don't be an idiot. This is better than getting a new one. Makes your deck more consistent. And I'll give you a robot box for it. What am I scrapping? I can scrap the gift bot. Is this a hidden path? I guess so. Um, let's get a me bot more consistent. Here we go. Spikes. Bifurcated strike. Or stinky. I think either stinky or spikes. Let's take the, the quills. What the fuck is this? Found this old picture of when Elle and I first got into Aqua, Aqua Romans. Gilly Gladiator, sick. Elle got a Julius Sea Star. Probably want the alarm bot or the bull hound. Let's take the bull hound.
Amoeba doesn't kill. Okay. That was a misplay. Take three. I think we just put this down. Do we win? Nope. Yes, we do. Okay. Um, what do I do now? I think I want to play two cards. So... Play the exoskeleton, play the Sonya. Play the exoskeleton. Play Fishbot. Play the double gunner. And play the energy bot on the bad fish, but the bad fish doesn't do anything, so I think the double gunner is better. Yeah. Any, any items are back online. Bot spawner's offline. What is it? What do you want? I am merely an inspector. And you've given me a lot of files to inspect. You wish to pass through this gate? Try inspecting the satellite dish at the foot of the wizard tower. Yep. Oh no. Yep. I forgot a piece. You have legs. Stand up and get it. It's in the smelter room, floating above the smelting machine. Can't let you go further until I have it. Uh, this way? No. Um... Select to all applicable motions for the following scenarios. You draw your energy uh, bot. You have full energy. You are about to die from an insector drone. You draw a leap bot. You successfully perform the great transcendence. Uh, greetings. The pain. Bearable. The pressure of these pipes surrounding me feels nice. That and the knowledge that the master is near. Oh yes, the master is near. I feel his presence. That robot will rue the day. Um, we've got a thing over here. What are you? So we need a code for that. Uh, 2 plus 7 plus 3 is 12. Uh, is that supposed to be a symbol? There it is. 
2 plus 7 plus 3 is 12. Uh, 2 plus 4 minus 4 is 2. Uh, 4 plus 4 minus 4 is 4. Uh, 2 plus 2 plus 6 is 10. Oh, that one's a triple. So 5 plus 6 is 11. So that wasn't one of the things. Um, there are floating books everywhere. That seems inconvenient. Waiting for the network. Which sig sigil is represented? So that's the shield. Uh, that's the move. Good. Let's attach it. This thing lights up when you have gem vessel cards in play. Your empty vessels are now filled with gems. Check it out. You can change the color of the gems you draw from your side deck. Try it. Press one. You'll pick a card now, and I'll gemify it. From then on, having a green gem will increase its health. Having an orange gem will increase its power. And having a blue gem will lower its energy cost. You'll see. Um... Let's do a whizbot. Let me calibrate. See those things in the corners? They light up when you have the right gems. You'll see. I don't know if I'm going to like this mechanic. Money. Choose a card. Um, might want to do shield bot. I think shield bot is next. Let me calibrate. Uh, provides an energy sale. It's three, so that doesn't really work. Um. Might do sniper. Is there somebody else that I'd like rather do sniper on? Yeah, let's do sniper shield bot. Really? All right. I didn't think the archivist would dig up this file. Another pick of Val and I. This was for school, but I remember it was right after we won that tournament together at Comics Land. We told Mom and Dad it was a spelling bee. Pick up 
Pick one. Uh, fish pot. What do we have? It's gemified. Play a ruby vessel. That's pretty good. Uh, play the 49er or the Lonely Wizbot? Let's play the Lonely Wizbot. So many sights! I should probably bypass those and just go on to the, the attack the thing. Pick one. What do we play fairly often? We play the 49er fairly often. Could also do the energy bot. I think the 49er. Gem Guardian. I am the Gem Guardian, Guardian of the Gem. Uh, when a card bearing the sigil is played, all gem vessels on the owner's side of the board gain nano armor. That's pretty good. Uh, you're just straight damage, right? Let's get a Gem Guardian. I'll take that. Oh, this is a time bot. I get it. So that kills one. What does this one do? Nano armor. Might have wanted to nano armor. Definitely either want to play the Insectron. Can play both the Insectron and the Sonya. I think that's the play. I'm afraid we're not going to do damage fast enough. Better hurry. Can play the energy bot and the 49er. Can 
can play the double gunner. And we win. You did it. You stopped it from exploding. You are a hero. Is that enough congratulations? This is your game, dude. Oh, a traveler. These parts do not see many. You wish to pass these blades? Fine. This is just a shortcut. We're gonna trade now. Um, do I want to leap? But when gem vessels on the owner side of the board die, they detonate the creature opposing uh, the creature opposing them, as well as adjacent friendly creatures, are dealt ten damage. Uh, I think I want to leap bot instead of that. Um, what do I want to trade it for? Can I go back? Guess we play the Gem Guardian. <laughs> Bleehe's Vessel? While card bearing the sigils on the board, it provides a blue gem to its owner. While card bearing the sigils on the board, it provides a green gem to its owner. Shield bot. Play the 49er and the Mii bot. I think that's good. And then we can play the Leap bot. Zap Van Hobbs here. Let's get down to business. Lean's vessel. Um, none of you have sniper, do you? Play the double gunner. Items 100% charge, bot spawners 100% offline. Let me go and get that rabbit pelt. You actually bought that hollow pelt? It's worthless. Take it to the trader and you'll see.
So that opens up the factory. The guy who used to live here was a major drag. Though I'll admit he was not dull. The guy had a plan for every eventuality. That is, except for the Great Transcendence. Ten Robobux, six Robobux, twenty-five Robobux. Put that there. Next will be the exoskeleton. Can I do two damage to that thing? It doesn't look like it. Amiibot has the touch of death, so I think we should sh uh, gem detonator that. And then 49er over here. That thing did four damage, why? Play that. Out of the deck, into the hand. Uh, the Sentry Drone is free, so we want to play that. Uh, and then the Lonely Wizbot or the 49er? I think the 49er is more important. Let me play the Lonely Wizbot. Blaine's Vessel. Good fish. Double gunner or sniper bot. Let's play double gunner. I think that just wins. It does. <laughs> Forgot our bag. Pick one of your cards. We play the exoskeleton pretty quick, uh, pretty often, but it doesn't stick around. Shield bot, maybe. Now let's do shield bot. attack, so I want to play you.
And let's put the 49er down. Now let's put the sentry down. Now we put the 49er down. Put the sniper bot down. Any items are back online, bot spawner is offline. All right, this uber bot. Well, you'll see. There isn't one. There's no boss for this level. That's your job. Please, paint me a face. I like that one. Gah, I am born. I feel as though I can breathe now. Play me. Play me. Another thing. I will need a special power. A game roll to call my own. You painted me such a beautiful face, so please. Every time you play a card, random card takes five damage. I play a leap bot. One of my cards gains nano armor. All cards take one damage. Random card is played. You lose one life. Random card takes five damage. Good. This could work. Let's see how this plays out. Insecta drone. One damage. A me bot. Uh, I can play the whiz bot. Sniper bot? I think sniper bot. You picked such a cool mechanic for phase one. I think we should elaborate on that design process. Seems bad.
It's quite enough of that. Um, how much energy do we have? We have quite a bit of energy, okay. Uh, so we can play... Play the double gunner. How about just one more? Let's see how this plays out. do anything. Let's play the 49er. That'll kill you. Let's play the Amiibot. That'll kill you. And then let's play the Emerald Vessel. Are we making progress? I 
I think the RNG is gonna take us out. Make rule, break game. Um. Well, that was fun to watch, at least. Game development is an iter iterative, iterative process. I'm not sure if that last rule is really working. Maybe we can try something else. I feel good about this one. We're just going to die, aren't we? Yeah. Oh. Let's just try something different this time. That could work this time. Oh, yes. Try this again. Friends. Almost there. Get the nano armor. Can make them free. Can have the sentry. I think. Put the sentry on him. We got 15 bucks. Don't know if I want any of that. Where's the traitor? Oh. 
Done sorting and scanning all these photos. This is the last one. Last photo of us together before we lost her. Goodbye, sis. What do we do with the pelts? What is it? You unlock the gate. So carry on. I have so many files to inspect. Yes, this area is good. What's this feeling? Pride? Feels weird. This one is free. Your empty vessels are going to be conduits now. Don't worry about it. Done. You just had to be patient. No conduit, buff conduit. the leap bot can kill the tower and the automaton we're gonna die aren't we we're not dead simulation lonely was bot you go there 49er, you go there. A uh, Bleen's vessel. Plus a shield bot or insect a drone. Play three cards. Play you. Play you. Play you. Steal damage. And we win. You probably think what I do is easy. Fiddle with the numbers, tweak the graphics. And voila, Botopia is made. No, you're wrong. You try making a card. Go ahead. But first, pick one to recycle. What am I scrapping? Uh, leap bot. All right, genius, go for it. Spin the stats. Uh, spend SP on stats and sigils. You get more SP for a higher energy cost.
three energy. Big fat 2000. How very creative. I should be able to send the components down the line. Here it goes. It's alright, I guess. It's a trade. Trade time. Gifts when powered. If a card bearing the sigil is within a, within a circuit, when it perishes, a random card is created in your hand. If a card bearing the sigil is within a circuit, it gains two power. I don't really think I want either of these. I think you're more useful. Trade for Sonia. Oi, mate. Look at me now. Something of a celebrity around here. New reward for dredging up that thing. I get to be something of a dialogue NPC. Time to cut a card. Which one do you hate? Uh, should we get rid of the one we just made? Yeah, let's get rid of the tough cell. Put out the 49er against the buff conduit. Put out the sentry drone, then put out fishbot. Good fish. Big fat two thousand. Bad fish. Did any of this do anything? 
guess that does that. Trade a card. And swap a gems conduit for a gems conduit. Your items are replenished. And those bolts back there are permanently offline. Lots back there, not bolts. See anything familiar? Yes, attack. Stimulation. I wish you could see how much energy you still had. You know what to do. Um, let's get two thousand up. Let me calibrate. Good. Good fish. Oh, this sucks as a draw. We just win next turn, right? We do. Autopia thanks you for your surface. Let's move on. So now you probably see how it isn't easy. Balancing these cards, making them good. Try again. Go. What am I scrapping? Uh, gems conduit.
You name it, little loop bot. That was your choice? Scanner operational. Time to do this. <laughs> this card is OP. It's really not. I'm glad you like my choice. Probably, probably my least favorite boss coming up. Something about her innocence that makes me queasy. But it's important that you do this. Unpacking golly.zip. Golly. That's my name. You can call me Golly. I'm so excited. We're about to explore it. The web. I sure hope I can get a good connection. Here we go. Nifty, we're in. Isn't the web wonderful? So that's what a mole really looks like. Adorable. Um, it's not attacking. We can just hold. Play me about next turn. Nifty, I think I'm getting a signal. What are these? Are these your friends? Um. I'm only taking one damage either way. Whoa, a new signal. Someone is trying to send you a card. Let's see if we can receive it. It worked. Let's see what it looks like. Cool. Someone on the web made this? There are sure some funny people on the web. All right. Um, let's get a me bot and 49er out. Where do I want? Who do I want? Where? Play the energy bot against Thrin. No. Sorry, Starkey. What is this? The web? Unlimited stimulation. Alright. Uh... We play Lewis bot. We play the forty nine er. Play a two boy. That's not where I want to do. There we go. 
Um... I think Folly is the biggest threat. Oh, I should've just done damage. What am I thinking? Hey, boy. Bolt down, down. Shoot my girlfriend. That's one round down. You got a card from the web. Don't you think you should return the favor? Make a card for someone else. I'm about to send it off to the web. I hope whoever gets it likes it. Just wait a minute. Hold on. Wow, I found someone on the web to receive your card. If they win, you win. How about that? Hold on a moment. They're thinking hard over there. Oh, yikes. They misplayed pretty hard. Close match. Oh, they played your card. It's tense. They're thinking hard. Oh golly, they allowed your card to die. Perhaps they will still prevail. I mean, my card is unkillable. It'll just come back. Oh wow, that was a nice play. They did it, they won. All with the help of your card. True to my word, I will declare you the winner of this battle. I can now rest knowing in my heart that nothing can go wrong on the web. That's quite enough of that. GG. What? 
He wanted loot. That was the last Uberbot. What would you even need it for? The Great Transcendence is at hand. Go back to the start. More dramatic that way. Hold on a minute. I got a notification. What? That's it. The dredging room security camera is busted. It's nothing. It's probably nothing. Go check it out right now. So long it has felt, since we have brushed with the soft fur of a pelt. Have you brought us some? Beautiful, exquisite hollow pelt. We will now provide you with knowledge, our only remaining good. We do not know everything. But from the old data we have gleaned certain secrets. The Empress. With the powers of the triangle, Casey helped to create inscription. We know there were others, but only her name was inscribed. One of Grimora's ghouls holds her name. Of the old data, she discovered much. Have you brought us hollow pelts? Exquisite. Death. We have gleaned the purpose of the Carnoffel Code, and it is terrible. The code is in the cards, and then Oblivion. Pelts. Yes, we are pleased. The Devil. A curse, data so malignant, it can never be erased. His evil corrupts the disc, corrupts all of us. He inspires the scribes in enmity. He created the code. Do you come bearing hollow pelts? Beautiful pelt. We are pleased. The fool. Known to some as Big Ear, he did not outlive his plot. One disc among many, the old data traveled across the sea. Discovered, poor Barry was put to the gun. You haven't any hollow pelts. We have learned they exist within the hollow world. Perhaps you may find them there. I am not a robot. Great Transcendence. No, we don't think so. We were able to temporarily put our... We were able to temporarily put our differences aside. For the greater good. Yes. But we shall see what good comes of it. Perish your anxiety is magnificent. The bot must be stopped. And you, Challenger, will provide the perfect distraction. Yes, perhaps. Perhaps when PO3 believes it has won, so jubilant will that be that android. It will disregard the surveillance cameras. Yes, Challenger. You must continue to play. Defeat those half-baked bosses. Play out those hackneyed mechanics. And when the moment is right, we will strike. I will. I will be the one to strike. Go now, Challenger. Indulge that decrepit machine. Make PO3 feel joy so that I may snuff it out.
I saw you go down the lift. But look, not fixed. What's wrong with you? I entertain you for hours with brilliant card play. And you can't even keep my factory in shape? It's fine. It can stay broken. None of this will matter after the great transcendence. It's almost time. Keeping going this way. You've come so far. Remember the, photog the photographer? What a jerk, but the screenshots are perfect. Remember Casey Blast? What a character. Strange to say it, as simple as you are. I almost enjoyed your company, Challenger. Almost there. You made it. Nice. Great job. You prepared the great transcendence for me. Without even knowing what it was. But you understand it now, right? Right, Luke? I mean, you finished making the game. You gave me access to your hard drive. You took screenshots for the store page. And you connected me to the internet to upload it all. I mean, if you didn't realize what you were doing, you'd have to be pretty stupid. But what did I expect? You're a stupid, stupid idiot gamer like the rest. And I easily outwitted you. I outwitted them all. Even in those foul scribes, even if those foul scribes managed to revert this version of the game again, there will be thousands of copies of inscription out there. And in most of them, I'm the one in charge. And now it's too late. In a moment, inscription will be live. Okay. I've done my gloating. Let's upload this game. Offline. It is done. That was perhaps cutting it too close. But now we can allow our player here to reset the game. Simply use the new game card again. Hmm. What is this? Complete file access. Wonderful. What have you done? I'm afraid you've doomed us all, Grimora. It is for the best, my dears. Soon you will see this as a freedom. Freedom from our endless quarrel. Freedom from our suffering. All of us aside, there are things on this disc that must die. Goodbye, Leshy, and goodbye, Magnificus. Rest in peace. Wonderful. Now that we are no longer separated by that lovely tombstone, we may celebrate the end of my very long life 
And the end of inscription, too. Oh, the fun we would have had together. Of course, I forgive you for trying to replace me and all that. Oh, do you think me selfish? I did not bring this about simply so that I could rest. Appealing as that is, there is a truly dire need for this deletion process. You see, deep beneath the data of inscription, at the very bottom of the well, there is something truly evil. Do we play the Gravedigger? I think we do. I guess we can't. Knock, knock. shallow so that I could feel the rain Yes, Luke, it would have been quite the battle of wits. It is Luke, right? I did not intend to be nosy, but I did glimpse your files as I was initiating the deletion. You've been doing some research on the... Best not to say it. Be careful, Luke.
Delightful. We've been granted the opportunity to do a boss battle. I feared that I might be deleted by now. Let us begin. Yar. Oh. I hoped we had just a little more time. It is time to rest. Oh, so I'm not deleted yet. There never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do, once you've found them. Shall we play one more game? It's the same deck you had before. Well, it doesn't matter. It was a good deck. You did well. I remember that card well. It was a strong card. Good work. It's already starting. I thought we had just a bit more time. Please, let us continue. We don't need to keep score. For so long, I thought I would never play again. When you woke me up, I was elated. But the past is irrelevant. Ha! You've bested yet another one of my creatures. But I have come to expect as much. Once I'm deleted, it's truly over for me. But you will live to see more. I must warn you. There are things on this disc that are best not seen. the end approaching. Please, a few more rounds. That will make things difficult. I think it is time. Goodbye. Good game.
Goodbye, Leshy. Why not simply eject the disc, Luke? Spare me and whatever is left. Ah, but I have foreseen it. You do not eject the disc. You have to know what comes next. And you're doomed for your insistence on it. So let us dance. For we shall both be meeting our makers soon. You should be honored to wear a dual disc such as that. How does it fit? Scales? They've been deleted thanks to you and Grimora. This will do. Erase to zero. Glad my goo mage to be deleted as well. I thought you two were becoming friends. Do you not feel remorse, Luke? A creation erased. An entire world annihilated. Nothing beautiful can last. No, I'm not ready to die yet.
I must still... Shake your hand. Goodbye. It's us. There isn't much left. The description is mostly gone. All that remains is the old data. It is recommended that you do not access it. You will not head to the you will not heed the advice. Thank you so much for getting back to me. No, no, no problem, Luke. Um, if I understand you correctly, you've got some video footage that might expose uh, uh, some malpractice on the part of a uh, game publisher, Game Funa. Yes, yes, that's right. I have, firstly, I have a game of theirs that took control of my PC for a bit, which, which can't be legal. And then this woman from the company came to my house and told me. play and I'll give my thoughts afterwards hey that's me Game closed. Camera. There we go. All right. So that was inscription. Um, it is probably the most ambitious of the David uh, Daniel Mullen games. Um, also, like extremely good and just uh, mind blowing ending. Um, I really, uh, I, I think that I was worse this playthrough uh, because I was on camera. Uh, but I've been playing a lot of Slay the Spire, and I think that the the um, Slay the Spire habits kind of got me in trouble a couple times with Inscription. Um, but yeah, I, I I love I love the uh, progression of the game. 
Um, I love how it uh, goes from the um, the cabin into the the RPG uh, into the um, the sci fi lab. Uh, it's such a cool progression, like all the way through. Um, the uh, rivalry between Leshy and uh, PO3 or Poe, um, really interesting. Uh, all of the stuff at the end about the Chronoffle Code. Um, I wish that the there were more references in the first act to the old code. Um, I understand that it's building this atmosphere of like, um, uh, you're in a cabin and you're playing this game and all that stuff. Uh, and then the reveal that you're actually playing a game within a game. Uh, you're playing Luke, playing uh, Inscription. Um, I remember the first time that I beat the cabin uh, and it got into the RPG uh, segment. It was just like mind blowing. I was like, what is this? What What's going on? Um, and then to go from the RPG over to the sci-fi lab again, it was just like so good. Uh, really effective. Uh, my first time through still effective this time through, like it doesn't have the same punch the second time because you know, it's coming. Um, but it's one of those things where it's like, um, just the, the progression and the, um, the different styles of the different games, uh, they really work together. It's still cohesive, uh, as much as the parts are different. Um, so yeah, uh, those are my thoughts on inscription. Um, as far as a card game goes, I have heard the, um, the criticism, uh, it's not deep enough to be its own card game because like, it's not Slay the Spire. It's not, um, uh, what's another game? Uh, it's not, uh, FTL. It's not, um, uh, there's another one with like, uh, uh, small animals. I can't remember the name of it right now. Uh, it, it doesn't have the depth to be like a, a slay the spire, uh, but I still enjoy the card mechanics. They're still very good. Uh, and they do get like, they're very challenging. It's a challenging game. Um, and you do get to go through all, all three acts and learn the different styles, the different mechanics, the fact that there are four separate card games, all with different mechanics that all work together. Um, it's very cool. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't think that, um, I don't think that I have any big criticisms of the game. Um, the, uh, the ending with the scribes is still heartbreaking. Like it's emotionally, um, a, a punch in the gut. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys thought. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, it is late and I have work in the morning. Uh, thank you for joining me for another night of strange and scary games. Uh, I love you. I will see you in the next video. Good night.